In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You must also know those who have doubted in their life. C.S. Lewis, Josh McDowell, and even people who were close to Jesus or were his disciple doubted Jesus. And now, many times, we have strong beliefs, but there are days when we doubt our own beliefs. Jesus, see a man who brought his son to Jesus to heal him. That boy had a spirit that did not let the boy speak. Father asked Jesus to heal him, and Jesus gave him an answer that maybe you and I need to hear every day. He says, if you are able, all things can be done for the one who believes. Immediately, the father of the child cried out, I believe, help my unbelief. Many times we have believed. But there are places like this man where we get stuck in our lives. And it is very difficult to say that we believe. And like that man, we go to Jesus and say that I believe, but help my unbelief. Sometimes we also doubt God's goodness, mercy. And, and we ask God, if you love me, why did you allow me to be in this situation? Do you see me in this hardship? We doubt. Sometimes we also doubt our own fate. Today we want to look very briefly at two people who doubted Jesus. One was John the Baptist, who was relative of Jesus. John the Baptist clearly declared that he is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. But he doubted the identity of Jesus and who he was. Are you the coming one or should we wait for another one? John the Baptist was older than Jesus. But he said, the one who comes after me, he was before me. This is a powerful statement. So John knew who Jesus was. Now John is in the jail and he think about the story. Where is the kingdom? Are you the one? And the other one we want to look at is Thomas, his disciple, the one who, when the rest of disciples met the resurrected Jesus in the upper house, was not there. And when Thomas came, they told him that Jesus was there. But Thomas did not believe and said, I have to see with my own eyes. And I have to touch him with my own hands. You know, Thomas had a different personality. We saw Jesus. He is alive. Okay, show me. He was here. But I was, but I haven't seen him. He is the classic doubter. Nowadays, when we want to say someone is a doubter, we call them Thomas. It would be good if we knew a couple of things about Thomas. Firstly, he was loyal to Jesus. For example, when Jesus said, let's go back up to Judea, all the disciples said, no, wait a minute. Jews wants to stone you in Judea. Why would you go there? But just Thomas stood up and said, let's go with him and may die with him. This is a very loyal statement. I will follow you until death. And the second thing I love about Thomas is that he is real. He was honest. When Jesus said to them, let not your heart be in trouble, 
in my father house there are many mansions i i am going to prepare the place for you when i go i will come back again and where i am going you know and the way you know thomas immediately said we don't know where you are going and how we can know the way he was very honest wasn't he i believe the others didn't know either but just they said yes let's do it but thomas said i don't know he never tries to put a, spir- a spiritual mask and say glory to god if he didn't get it he said it honestly thomas was a doubter but was loyal and honest john doubts jesus identity and thomas doubt his activity let us look at their doubts first first of all john john's doubt was based upon unfulfilled expectation john expected certain things out of Jesus that he was not seen or gotten. Therefore, he doubted. He expected, like others, when Messiah came, he set up the kingdom right now. He stopped all suffering. And these things were not happening for John. He did the right things, but he was on jail. Do you remember the promise was that the captives get free? So let's consider Thomas there. His, his doubt was about Jesus' activities, that people don't get up again. When people die, that is it. He was seeing Jesus raises people from death, but that guy himself is now dead. And he never expect Jesus to die. If he's Messiah, he's going to set the kingdom and now is dead. For him, for him all hopes were buried with Jesus. Therefore, he had no hope for his resurrection. Do you know, doubt and unbelief are different. Doubt look for an answer, but unbelief doesn't care about the answer. Doubt is honesty. Unbelief is against fate. Jesus was so patient and he never rebuked them. He loves doubters. When people are struggling and doubting, he was there to prove his identity. He let them experience him personality. Don't forget that our doubt is part of our faith. So don't be ashamed if we doubted Jesus because we were honest and looking for an answer. Amen.